From scenic Lighthouse Point here on the rugged coast of Maine, this is EA Sports continuing coverage of the world of golf. Rich Lerner, pleased to be joined by Frank Nabila, one of the great international players of the 1990s. And Frank, you and I are of the age that we remember those made-for-TV skins games in the 1980s with Jack and Arnie and Lee Trevino used to love it. We're going to use the same format today. The beauty of skins too, Rich, is where you make your birdies or, or where you win the hole, really, because if you survive the carryovers, it's just a case of making the birdie on the right hole. If there's enough holes carried over, then you can steal the whole cat and caboodle. So nine holes is the choice here today. Let's get things started here at the par four first. And that'll come to rest in the left side of the fairway and a good shot to get things rolling. And that, not the longest of drives to start out, but it is safely in the fairway.
Miss hit, wrong club. What happened there, Frank? All of the above, maybe. That's a little bit of a head scratcher. Wasn't that hard a shot. That will make it onto the putting surface, but ultimately, not a real good shot. This is a 13-footer. Best stroke made on this hole by far. That one in for a double bogey. That is easy money there. A tap in will do it. That's worth a skin and 25 grand. Now at the second here at Lighthouse Point, Frank, this is some tough par three. If you want to try and uh, really break the hole down and, and be a purist here, Rich, you'd like to hit a little cut into this green, something that moves away from the water and the cliff back towards that bunker. That would be the perfect shot to hit. It's such a difficult par three. Anything on the green would be good here. And that one not on the green, but not in the terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this path, right? Okay, not bad out of the sand, and that's what will remain. Trying to grind out a par. Now a second to this par three. Okay, can't take cuts that length for granted, but that's in for a par. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Nope, couldn't steer that one in, and it's going to be a skin for our whole winner. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Novello back with you at the third hole here at the Cliffs. And this is a hole that offers up a chance to put a red number on the board, Frank. It certainly does. A good drive finding this very narrow fairway will certainly give you the opportunity to reach the green in two. Straight a little left, either with the drive or the second, and all of a sudden you might realize this par five has teeth. And 
no issues there. Good tee shot in the short grass. That one too close to the edge, and it's going to wind up falling into the bunker. Now a second from well over 300 yards. This will be about positioning. Just got to get this out to a good number. Per second at the par five. Okay, that's a good safe play. Get it back out into the fairway. Get some distance if you can and gets it to try and make a good third on this par five. A little long as we can see and a little to the right, but uh, still makeable if you hit a good one. That's a really solid shot. Smack bang into the middle of the green. She should be happy. Nota Begay down on three green to look at this putt for birdie. All you have to do is start this online and let the slope do its thing. I don't see a lot of movement in it. This is a 19-foot putt. Yep, good work. Got to let that get away, and that's in for a par. So, the birdie not to be, and she'll brush that in for her par. Fourth hole, and looking for a quality start. It's 411 yards and a par four. No fairway bunkers or bunkers really to contend with here. Cliffs to the left and also water on that side. But one of the wider fairways on this front side made up four by a very small green. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there.
Second shot. Good look at the green. Ah, good approach shot. And birdie putt coming up. It's an approach shot just a little right, a little short. Steeply up the hill here. This is going to play very long. And that one barely makes the front of the green. Do you realize if you just miss it, the middle of the club, by a quarter of an inch, you lose 10%. That's right, 10%. This one measures out to 15 feet. Coolest thing about this game, Rich. I mean, it's just now it's another shot. So the short miss. Um, those are painful. Okay, that one finished off, but it is a double bogey. Okay, not much to do there. Tap that in and collect the two skins worth a cool 50 grand. Fifth hole now at Lighthouse Point. Frank, it's a beefy par four. Another hole without any fairway bunkers off the tee, but really the main defense here at the cliffs is the elements. Find the fairway, and uh, you'll also be hitting to a green, which uh, is protected by a little bunker to the right side of that, and short. Uh, so precision, once again, required here. That will do just fine. That one's going to hit hard. Get a little bit of run out, and that is going to wind up just fine.
Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been. A seven footer. Yeah, good concentration there. That's a distance where a putt could get away, but that in for a par. Now at the six hole, so par three, just under 200 yards. Where's the challenge here, Frank? Well, you've got to love that bunker on the left side, Rich, especially because it's shaped like a letter L. You've got to fly that. Green's not too deep. So really the challenge is trying to flight that ball amongst the breeze should it kick up. Quality shot right there, just left of the hole, and a birdie opportunity coming up. Okay, safely aboard. Look here at birdie. And this is one where you just got to keep the hands and the wrists quiet and get it started online. A six footer now for birdie. Good putt, and it's in for a birdie. Par 4 7th, only 370 yards. Frank, decision to be made off that tee. It is. I walk this hole, Rich, to the narrowest point of the fairway. It's 278 yards, and if you want to carry that left side, you're going to have to be strong 300 yards. So really, I don't know if drivers to play, maybe even three woods too much. You might have to throttle back even further. So the hole might be short. Just might get a little bit of a longer second shot than what the scorecard would normally allow you. And this, a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine.
And this attempt will be from about 130 yards. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Second shot up coming with that pin tucked in the front left. Well, I know I'm paid to talk, but there's not really much to say about that. Best to just move on to the next shot. Okay, on the green, but let's go leave a putt that will get your attention. Iona's down there. She's had a good look. This for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. Right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Shaking her head as she finishes that for a par. Now another par three. We're at the eighth. Frank, it's only 165 yards. It is, but when you look at the green, you can see how narrow it is. Actually, the green is nearly a figure eight, so it's obviously the right number hole. Bunkers sort of short leftish, and, and that little pocket area on the right, and so it'll punish anything left or right, even though the hole's just that mega yardage. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Some green to work with as he'll try and lift this one out. Mm, maybe a little frustration there. Got a little too much sand and not enough golf ball, and that will come up quite a bit short. 13 feet away. Ah, really nice right there. That was a touchy one, but it's in for a par. Up with the skin on the line, it drops to win the hole. Twenty-five thousand dollars. Now to the par five ninth. Frank, what are we looking at here? 
Well, for the longer hitters, it's actually a chance to reach par five and two. 300 yards is where that fairway starts to bend more to the left. So you do the math, it's going to give you roughly 250 yards to the middle, middle sort of front left of that green. That's the easy way to play the hole. Uh, make a mistake off the tee and you might find out this is a uh, more difficult three-shotter than what you were anticipating. Yeah, all about hitting the fairway here, and that is right where you want to be. There's certainly a lot of different ways to play a par 5. You're going to have to figure out the best way to play this par 5 using three shots to reach the green. Third shot, looking for a good one. Ah, the mark of a good player is always one that can hit it whole high. That's a good shot. This will be the fourth shot now coming out of the bunker. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe liked to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Now this for birdie. And a dead straight look here. Very little break. Just has to get it online. Now, well, just when you thought they might pick up one, now settle for a par. Cleans that up in the hole. So the birdie not to be, and she'll brush that in for her par. And that'll do it. A good battle here, gonna come to an end. Frank, we saw it all today here at the Cliffs at Lighthouse Point. We played a, about a 700-yard par 5, an almost 600-yard par 4. 
some really demanding par threes. This was enjoyable and challenging at the same time. Challenging uh, and long, 7,700 yards, but uh, changes in elevation, the great vistas we saw, um, really an enjoyable day. Golf's to be played in the elements. I certainly enjoyed uh, calling the golf we saw today. And, uh, well, Rich, tide's come in. Time for us to go.